what's going on guys today we are doing the first part of the Falossal Raptor build um, so I appreciate everybody joining me today so first off we are just going to do one of the smallest pieces so far is just this um, and uh, yeah so let's get started uh, we will be casting a second item in this video. Um, now what this piece is going to allow it to do, the build, is it's going to allow the head to turn. Um, so yeah, let's uh, get started here. So we are using Petrobond uh, for this build. Now, I mean, there are other sands that you could use, uh, but we are using Petrobond. Now, this isn't just regular Petrobond. I do have a little bit of Delft clay mixed in with it, a uh, very tiny bit, and uh, a few. Uh, a few couple other things added into this sand to give it a, a stronger uh, what do you call it uh, base to it so all right so we're just gonna slightly just push this in about halfway just like so and we don't want to go too much and then I know right such a waste all this for one little piece right but it's all good so we just want to make sure this is all pushed down really good we want to make sure our mold is packed in and tight as possible and then just roll it in there really good okay just like so now we can get rid of this Excess sand. Now, obviously, this piece ain't going to take a lot of silver. Um, just want to give it a little tap just to kind of help it remove itself from the sand. Nice and easy. There we go. All right, so. Now we got our mold made, let's make it where the sprue will come out now. So, grab our tool here and just give it a slight curvature. Yeah. Just like that. And then on this side, we want to add, you know, a vent. Should only need the one vent. Just to help the gases and the airflow, right? So there we go. And then this side here, we just make sure it's nice and smooth. We don't want any loose sand to get into our mold. All right. So that being done now, we can add that together like so. <clears throat> add our C-clamp. So there we have it, there's part one. 
And like I said, because that was such a short uh, cast, we are going to do a second one here. So uh, the second part to this is going to be the tail of the Velociraptor. So let's get this filled up. With our petrol bond, pack it in there really good. Now, being this is a bigger piece, we're not going to roll this side uh, because we don't want to pack it too tight yet. Because we want to have some leeway when we push the actual mold in. So let's. Put some powder on our mold. So like so, just make sure it's really powdered up. Sweep off whatever excess is there. Alright. So here we have it. We want to also powder our mold. Okay, and the reason why we want to do this is we just don't want it to stick, right? Okay. So here we are. Let's uh, get to it, shall we? So I think the way we are going to cast this one is on an angle. And I want to make sure we get the tip of that in there. And like so. Okay. Then we want to grab the top part of our flask. Okay. And now what we want to do is we want to filter the petrol bond on top. The reason why we want to do this again is to grab the detail. Okay. It's all about the detail. Now you don't need to fill it, I mean that should be good there. We can now start packing it down. Just like so. Nice and gentle. Okay, then we wanna fill this up with our sand. And now we want to pack it as tight as we can. So, grabbing a rolling pin and just rolling it on there. Make sure we got the detail over here, which looks good. Okay. Looking on here, looking on here, looks good. Okay. Now what we want to do is just gently give it a tap, see how it lifted up there, and just tip her over. Okay. Now that we have that. Now what we want to do is we want to add our sprue. So where are we going to put our sprue, you ask? Um, hmm. I think we are going to add our sprue here. You want to 
to be careful when you do this because you don't want to disturb too much of the sand. So now we make our V. I think we're going to have to make that just a tiny bit bigger because we want the silver to flow evenly throughout. Okay, so there we go. Now, you can put a, the sprue on both sides. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, okay? Um, so now what we want to do is we want to add vent lines, okay? And uh, so we are going to add a few of them. So we're going to add one here. We'll add another one here. Um, I think we'll add one here. Yeah. And again, all this does is it just allows the air to escape, right? Uh, the gases from the metal. Okay. So the more vent lines, the better the the airflow, the better the silver will flow. Okay. So we got four there. You know what? I think we're gonna add. Just a couple on this side. Okay. And remember, the longer you it takes you on your mold to make your mold as good as you can, uh, the better the outcome is going to be in the end, right? We are going to add a vent up here. Carefully remove some of that sand that fell in there. Okay. Just like that. Looks good. Now take a toothpick and just poke your holes. Right. Through the sand. Okay, this is going to help the gas release from the mold without coming back up through the sprue hole okay because that's what's going to cause pockets and pitting and we want to try to avoid that as much as possible right so one last one there we go all right so now that we got that, we bring over this side, blow out any excess, and just attach it on top, push down, look, make sure we have our good sprue air hole, you see it there, okay, so now we add our C-clamps. Like so. Okay guys, so I'll be back once, uh, once we pour this. Alright guys, we are back. As you see, we got both poured. Let's see how we did. This is not a, you know, every time it's successful. It does take practice. So sometimes you just got to do it more than once. But if you uh, are consistent and you put the time into it, Oops. 
So there we go. There's our little piece. Uh, so as you can see, it came out pretty good. Got to drill out the hole, but all in all, pretty good. So that's one piece down. Let's uh, see how the other one did, shall we? Now this is the tail. So, let's grab the sprue here, we'll move that off to the side. We'll get rid of the sand and the flask off the table so you guys can kind of get a better look. So, pick it up here. And let's remove some of this sand off of it. As you guys can see, there is a little bit of flashing uh, in between the bones, but that's okay. Nothing we can't uh, take the file to and clean up, but all in all, the tail came out pretty good, I think. So, I will leave pictures at the end of the video on how these two pieces came out and uh, all cleaned up. So. Thank you for watching part one of the Philosopher Raptor cast, and uh, we'll see you guys on part two. Take care. Have a good day.